Hey, welcome back to Cracks Country Cooking. Today, we're making barbecue chicken. First thing we gotta do is trim it up. First thing we're gonna do is take the wing tips off. They burn anyway. Just a tip. <laughs> All right, secondly, the way I do this, got to take the skin off. Flip it over, take the knife, and you're going to run it down the back. You got to find a pocket where you can slide your hand in there. Start removing the skin. It's a little, little buffalo billish, but it's got to be done. It puts the lotion in the basket. It puts the barbecue sauce in the basket. Now, typically on a baked chicken, the skin is one of the best parts. But for what we're doing today, we're not going to need it. Yeah, it looks creepy as hell, too. All right, come on, almost done. All right, so we pretty much have our naked, nasty looking chicken. So we're gonna be cooking this on the Weber rotisserie. So what I like to do is I take the spit and I line it up just about where I think it's gonna go inside and make sure that we're not too close to the one edge. So we'll slide this in, the other one in. Now you want to push these together really tight because they will loosen up on you as it cooks. So we'll take some butcher's this twine. I do about three arms length because it uh, sucks when you're too short. And the stuff's pretty cheap, so I'd rather just waste a little bit if I have to. I'm gonna go under the back, through under the breast, and under the thigh. I'm gonna cross. We will make, go through one loop, two loops. I'm sure that's some knot that I'm not, I don't know, I'm not a Boy Scout. Pull that tight. See how it made the legs raise right up? That's what you want. So in here I have some melted butter and warmed barbecue sauce. Put it in an injector, and we're gonna inject it into the breast and the thighs. We'll slide this into the attachment. I got some charcoal lit, ready to go. Now, that was uh, Cosmos XPO1 barbecue sauce. Now we're gonna use some of Cosmos SPG. A Little bit of hickory in there with the charcoal. You don't need much. Uh, poultry will absorb a lot of smoke. and some of the Cosmos Honey Killer Bee. Now we'll let that go 
for about an hour and then we'll check on it. Looking good. All right, we got to get the temperature here. I always try to park it with the back facing the coals so it doesn't burn the, the top. 126, so we got another 30 minutes to go here. All right, we'll check on it in about 30 minutes. It's hit 165 degrees, let's take a look. So now, We'll pull it off and we'll let it rest for about 20 minutes. Then we'll slice it up and eat it. After an hour and a half on the rotisserie, we took it off, it hit 160 degrees. We let it sit for 20 minutes in an aluminum pan. It rose up to about 168. Uh, it's cooled back down a little bit, so now we can slice into it. There you have it. It looks pretty good. We ran at about 400 degrees. You typically don't want to run them that hot with a sugary rub and the barbecue sauce on it, but because it's on the rotisserie, it's constantly basting itself. You'll be okay doing that. So let's cut it in here and give it a try. And I don't think anybody would believe you if you told them that there was no skin on this because it looks like there's skin on it. Well, here's a breast. We will slice into it and give it a try. Now it's time to try it. You smell the, smell the smoke on it. Really good. Barbecue sauce with the butter makes it so it's really moist inside. You get the flavor of the barbecue sauce. You get all the tenderness that the, uh, butter will provide because what you perceive as uh, tenderness is actually butter or fat. It's really good. With all the beef and pork and stuff like that we eat, sometimes you gotta have some chicken. And this is pretty good. All right, if you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Watch our past videos, we have more videos coming out. I uh, appreciate all the support. See ya, it's dinner time. <laughs>